All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Sunday morning in the end times in paradise in the Catskill Mountains where I here on August 26, 2018, and I have got to pack up this gas-sucking truck and head to Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, good, I have a lot on my plate, and I think my battery is probably ready to, uh, to run out on me, so I'm going to have to make part two of today's Doomsday Headline Roundup Ramp pretty much literally a uh, a mainstream media doomer headline. This is the flotsam and jetsam portion of the mainstream media headline rant that has nothing to do with climate change. Um, flushing our planet down the toilet. Alright. I'm just going to be able to read the headline and the first sentence or two of each of these stories. Our health depends on the health of the oceans, and the ocean is sick. Yes, the hundreds of dead manatees that have been washing up on Florida's beaches this year certainly pull at people's heartstrings. Yep, 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 and you can take it from there. Right next to all the dead manatees, right next to a story about our sick oceans, we have Japan fleet catches 177 whales in latest hunt. I love that word, catches. Japan fleet slaughters 177 whales in latest hunt. Yes. Uh, the mission return home as Tokyo prepares to make its case to resume commercial whaling at a meeting of the International Whaling Com Commission. To resume commercial whaling. Uh, they never stopped. Com How do you resume something you never stopped? From dead manatees to dead whales to dead giraffes. Many versions of this story. U.S. trophy hunters import thousands of bones and skin parts from imperiled giraffes every year. The U.S. is allowing the import of tens of thousands of giraffe parts each year from the endangered species killed for their skin and bones. A, a as it's so hard to get to read the mainstream media, trying to read around the typos. As populations plummet in Africa, investigators discovered that 40,000 pieces of skin and bone from the creature were imported into America. As a result, the trade of trinkets made with giraffe parts is booming. Yes, the body parts were turned into pillows, knife handles, Bible covers, gun case covers, boots, and other trinkets. Yes, so Time Magazine uh, is looking into the big mystery of why deadly alligator attacks are a growing trend. I guess another woman was attacked yesterday, but I guess she uh, managed to get out alive. So here is, are we ready? Why alligator attacks are increasing? Hmm, dangerous human alligator interactions are starting to happen more frequently because people are moving into alligators' habitat, says the University of Florida professor Frank Mazzotti. Quote, Build people building homes where alligators live hmm, have caused the increase in alligator attacks. Thank you, Time Magazine, for pointing that out. 
Wow, never thought of this one. Protect birds by reining in your cats. Although some clueless fucking moron cat owners still let their pets roam free, felines are a leading cause of bird mor mortality. And bird and cat proponents agree that both species are safer if cats are reined in. Uh, cats kill an estimated 2.4 billion billion birds in the U.S. and Canada every year. Um, worldwide, cats have contributed to the extinction of dozens of species of birds. And besides birds, cats also are a serious threat to many small mammals. A serious threat to many small mammals such as chippies. I don't know how focused this is. I think I think the camera uh, is a little fuzzy. Anyway, from, uh, from cats and birds to bugs, I'm getting ready to head to Massachusetts here in about three hours. So, an alert reader sent me this story from Auburndale, Massachusetts. Wherever that is, we see the report, no black carpenter ants, no mayflies, no mosquitoes, as insects and animals are gone in Auburndale, Massachusetts. Hmm... This is just uh, the latest. There are no mayflies on the screen door this year. There are no bees in our garden. There are no moths around our back porch spotlight. There are very, very few mosquitoes, and we live off a foul meadow along the river. We used to see swifts every evening from twilight to the beginning um, around twilight dive after bugs but they are gone just over the past few days we just over the past few days we have heard crickets and cicadas but other than that it's been eerily silent and I was getting the same report that the cicadas and crickets just seem just over the past few days uh, uh, seem to have returned. Uh, in regard to animals, I have yet to smell a skunk this year. I have not seen a raccoon in years. Hmm. But there is an abundance of chippies. An abundance of chippies in Massachusetts almost out of place who seem to be enjoying their predator-free environment. Strange and very sad. Okay, let's go over to the shithole country of Cameroon. Cameroon pangolin traffickers caught in the act. Police in Cameroon have shut down an international poaching gang after catching six traffickers carrying more than 1,500 pounds of pangolin scales. I think I mentioned that on Friday. From pangolins to turtles, Spanish police smash Europe's biggest illegal turtle farm. Good God. Uh, from Spain to the shit all country of Russia, Russia seems to have lost the ultimate doomsday weapon, a nuclear powered cruise missile. Hmm. In the worst reboot of the Hunt for Red October we have ever heard, Russia has lost a secretive nuclear 
power cruise missile at sea during a failed test. Do you think so? Hmm, I guess this uh, live nuclear missile is floating somewhere around the Barents. It was last seen in the Barents Sea. And the status of the missile and its nuclear fuel is currently unknown. All right. Here uh, is one of these mainstream media stories cheering on all of these giant uh, infrastructure development projects going on all over the planet. The mainstream media cheering this on. Why the developing world needs infrastructure as much as aid? Hmm. Miracles have happened in global health over the last 15 years. And now, uh, they, they break it all down about what a good thing the, the infrastructure boom is for humans with zero mention that these giant infrastructure booms led by China's Belt and Road Initiative will destroy this planet with no help from climate change or anything else. No mention of the inconvenient truth. No mention of overshoot and those other pesky words, but I gotta plow on ahead. Let's look at a few migrant stories. Wow, I've never heard this uh, never heard this headline before. Migrants storm Morocco Spain border fence. Seven police injured. Over 100 African migrants forced their way into the Spanish territory of Ceuta after storming a barbed wire fence and attacking police with caustic quicklime. And the second assault on the Spanish border in a month, seven police officers were injured when migrants from Africa threw quicklime and battery acid as they tried to scale the fence. Yep, yep, yep. Next to that story, let's go over to the shit all country of Libya. Critical worsening of conditions for migrants detained in Libya. The UN Refugee Agency said on Friday it was gravely concerned about a deterioration in conditions for migrants held in Libyan detention centers that have led to riots and hunger strikes. An estimated 8,000 migrants are currently being held in 18 detention centers. Those detained make up a small fraction of the several hundred thousand migrants uh, residing in Libya or passing through the country. Yep, yep, yep. From the shithole country of Libya to the shithole country of Venezuela where Venezuelan refugee crisis evokes the darkest days of Europe in 2015. Huh. The exodus of migrants from Venezuela is building towards a crisis moment as thousands of people flee the country every day, traveling by bus or by foot along migration routes across South America, they flee an economic collapse that has left food and basic medicine scarce while armed gangs rob and kill without consequence. 
from the shithole country of Venezuela. Let's go over to the shithole country of Romania, where African swine fever hits Romania's biggest industrial pig farm. Romania has confirmed an outbreak of deadly African swine fever at the country's largest pig breeding farm in all 140,000 animals there will be slaughtered, the National Food Safety Authority said yesterday. Okay, this one is really a weird story that I might have to come back to in a future rant. Why Facebook's new reputation scores could be a freedom killer. China's modern surveillance state would make even George Orwell blush in a move that surpasses even the Big Brother tactics found in the pages of 1984. China has finally amassed seemingly unlimited power uh, and technology has helped. Uh, and given recent developments in the social media sphere, it is not unimaginable that the U.S. could follow a similar path, and that should terrify Americans, as China has implemented a frighteningly holistic social credit score system. The system evaluates the online behavior of Chinese citizens, monitors their banking and social media information, criminal record, religious beliefs, and countless other factors. The behaviors are then used to calculate a score that dictates whether a Chinese citizen can travel within or outside of China, where they can live, and what jobs they can hold. Yes. Coming to America soon. I did get, let's go over to the shit all country of Vietnam. Good luck, Vietnam. Vietnam demands that Monsanto pay compensation for Agent Orange victims. Yes, Vietnam has demanded uh, that Monsanto pay compensation to victims of Agent Orange which the company supplied to the U.S. military during the Vietnam War. Quote, uh, quoting one of these activists over there. Vietnam has suffered tremendous consequences from the war, especially with regard to the lasting and devastating effects of toxic chemicals, including Agent Orange. I think I've been over this story already. Opponents of oil refinery near National Park question developers' veracity. Uh, opponents of an oil refinery planned near Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota are imploring